was not one, but three blue whales. I'm not feeling too great, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, welcome to day five, is it? Day five. So yeah, we've, we've just finished that last vlog here at El Capitan. We just got back in the car. We're heading to Monterey, four hour drive. We're gonna hit the road. So we'll, uh, we'll get my readers on. See you there. We'll see you there. California epic playlist is in full swing, yes, turn it up. Just a quick stop at Carl Jr's. Claire thought she'd have a small coke. It's never been a small coke there, but mine's a large one. Look at the size of these things. guys in Monterey California and this is our residence for the night the old St. Angela Inn now uh, originally this place years ago um, used to be a nunnery and it got converted into a, a bed and breakfast in more recent years really nice little quirky place and basically you come out well I'm parked just over there you just park on the street quiet little street just a short walk from the from the bay and just walk down there, take straight down onto the boardwalk, take a right all the way down to Fisherman's Wharf. Just staying here for the one night, uh, 200 pounds, but uh, it was taken over by different people uh, after we booked. They got in touch with us, knocked us 50 off, so it only cost us 150. <laughs> so, yeah, really good deal, really nice little place. So as you can see all, all the rooms are named after different things, there you go, Land's End, Otter Cove. Coming around to the entrance. I love this place, it's really quirky. Really quirky. We've got a living area. We've got complimentary items in the fridge for you. Tea and coffee making facilities, all complimentary. It's really nice touches. And then this is our room, the Nantucket. Very nice. And the 
weather is a lot hotter than what it was <laughs> in Yosemite. Temperature's gone up mass. We just checked into Old St. Angela Inn. I'm going to head down the boardwalk to Fisherman's Wharf area and take it from there. This is the world famous uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium guys and the entrance is right over there and that's because we're not going because literally we've basically got uh, two options because we're only here for one night now we can't do an aquarium because we're going whale watching instead is that right Claire? Yeah. Claire loves a bit of whale watching I haven't seen any yet uh, yeah well, I mean those of you who saw me Iceland vlogs we went whale watching we didn't really see much but I think you've got a better chance of that over here so we've just booked it last minute with a company called Princess uh, Whale Watching uh, Cruises. I'm excited to uh, see whales. Yeah, Claire's excited. She's expecting to see everything. So at the moment we're just walking down Canning Row. Is it Canning Row is it yeah, called? Monterey. The famous street in uh, Monterey. And we'll see you down at Fisherman's Wharf hot whale watching. Coming down the Canning Road here on the front and there's so many things to see and do, so many places to eat. Lovely clean place. I'm almost thinking we should have spent more than one night here Claire already. I know, it's yeah. It is, it's really nice, really nice place. Make sure it's on your itinerary. Just walked off Canning Road, this is where we're heading right over here. This is the Fisherman's Wharf, the Monterey edition. I've been to the one in San Fran. I wasn't a fan Claire. Yeah. the san francisco one yeah. if i'm honest but um yeah we're gonna check this out this is where we need to get as a whale watching tour anyway but we're gonna eat dinner on there after that so as usual show you at food you know me like a bit of like a bit of snap Welcome to Fisherman's Wharf, Monterey. Nice little setting down here. Probably a 10 minute walk from Canning Row. There's plenty to go at, but the whale watching I think is at the end of this pier, so we've got to get down there because we need to be there in 10 minutes. And then the usual array of seals kicking about. <laughs> Chilling in the California sun. Not quite as aggressive as those ones we saw in uh, San Fran, Claire. They were uh, city seals. Yeah, they were. Yes, they were city seals, aggressive and degenerates. So we're at Princess Monterey Whale watching. Our boat is just pulling in, and then let's see if we can see some sea life. What are you expecting to see, Claire? I'll be happy with humpback whales. Um, um, oh, just humpback whales. Don't don't uh, set the bar high, will you? No. I'll be happy to see a couple of dolphins, maybe. But, you know. I set it high. Blue whale. Blue whale. Brilliant. They've actually been sighting blue whales. Unbelievably. God, if I see something like that, my holiday will be complete. I didn't get to see a bear in Yosemite, so I'm expecting big things from Monterey instead when it comes to the wildlife portion of the trip. So it looks like we're boarding in a minute, Claire. Let's go. So people have just got off a boat before us and they've seen two blue whales. Now, I'm saying that bar ride, right. I'm saying that bar ride, right. aren't we? Yeah. Like free Willie.
just stopped here, Claire. Just spotted a blue whale in distance. The, it's a bit, I, I couldn't get the camera out quick enough, but they're waiting for it to come back up. Cause it takes a few breaths and it can stay underwater for 10 or 15 minutes. But there were definitely one there. You could see it shooting from its spout. Really good, it was worth every penny, but Sea I'm sick. feeling ill. And unfortunately, there ain't going to be no food in this vlog because I can't eat anything after that. Money well spent, absolutely brilliant. We went to Iceland before, didn't see a thing apart from some dolphins, and this one, three blue whales, unbelievable. Right, how you better get back to this sick one over here? See you later. So the food in Monterey, unfortunately, is garlic fries for Claire, and that's as good as it's getting. Cause I, can't, I'm having to stand like five feet away from it, so I can't smell them. Oh dear me! I've never, I've been on a boat a few times in the past, and I've never, I got a little bit seasick when I was a teenager once. But the last few times I've been on a boat, I've not, I've been fine. But oh god! By the time we got to the section where we saw the two. Blue whales, I was starting to feel really sick. <laughs> but nevertheless, it was great, it was worth it. I mean, blue whales, I'm gonna see one of them every day. But I think it's gonna be an early bath for me tonight because I'm just not feeling it. Well, I hope you enjoy them, Claire. Oh, it looks yeah. like you took, oh no. Yeah. Garlicky. fresh and hungry now I've yeah. got over that which is a shame because I really wanted to go out last night because there's such nice restaurants down there in um, Cannon Row but instead I ended up sulking in room never mind we're hitting the road back in the California cruiser right here and we're gonna try and find the beginning of 17 mile drive it's just down the road from here apparently but I want to hit that before we head to Big Sur so stay tuned okay. So here we are guys, just entered 17 mile drive, we're here on point Joe, there's like 17 points of interest on here. And this is where your Spy Glass Hill, your Pebble Beach links golf courses are for all you golfers. Nah, I ain't a golfer, <laughs> I'm with Winston Churchill when it spoils a good walk uh, kind of attitude, but this is a beautiful place right here. So we're just going to stop here quick, see the rugged terrain and the waves crashing. Um, I'd probably need to remortgage my house to get around the golf in this place because it is a fortune. 
But there's two major places I want to stop in this place, and that's the, the place called Bird Rock and Lone Cypress, where the, the Lone Cypress trees, which is the logo for Pebble Beach. See you in a bit. Yeah, right over there at Bird Rock, it's absolutely covered in birds and sea lions. You can hear all sea lions uh, chanting from here. Over in the distance though, there's a mist coming in pretty fast, so whether I'm going to get much more good footage on here is anyone's guess. But yeah, you can see it coming in from right over there and it's heading straight over to the hills in the distance and we'll be driving over there shortly. So we just made another stop and this is the point where the lone cypress tree is. You come through here, you, the properties are uh, humongous and there'll be some uh, expensive price tags on them and all. But we've come to this point right here, some of you might recognise this, some of you probably won't. But this is the lone cypress tree, 100 years old. If you look closely, it's been held up by wires for the last 65 years apparently. But part of it got destroyed just this year in February in a storm. But that for all you, uh, all you golf lovers, you'll recognise it from in the, the logo for Pebble Beach. If I can find a photo, I'll put it up on the screen now. So it's clear that they'll want to keep it standing as part of their brand. Sits alone there in a granite cliff face. Fog just cleared just before we got here, so just made for a lovely view. Yeah, so if you look at the tree from this side, you can just about see some of the cables. And I'm guessing that left portion right in the centre of the screen is the part that got destroyed. So there you go, look, Lone Cypress, corporate logo and trademark of Pebble Beach Company. And uh, if you come down here, there's a viewing platform just across from the parking lot. I'm gonna get you some better views. It's time to move on. I'm getting hungry actually. Didn't eat much last night, obviously. Claire's still stuffed her face. Stunk of garlic all night. Brilliant, brilliant. And that's the Lone Cypress tree. 17 mile drive. Still got much of it to do. We're probably not gonna make any more stops now though. Uh, when we get to the end of this, we'll be in Carmel. Carmel on the sea. And from there, We'll jump onto Big Sur and the Pacific Coast Highway, Route 1. Been looking forward to this one. And we're going to be hitting three or four stops before we check into his next uh, residence at Cambria. I'll see you in a bit.